You're high up, Ivor. How far is our advance, there is? About an hour by bus. Just to see. My father says a poem written will win the crown. I don't think it will, Leor. I didn't write it for that, you see. For these competitions, you must have an education to write well. Didn't you ever go to school? Yes, but I left when I was 12 to go down the pit. I often come up here. That one, Mr. Rees? You see, Ivor, it was different for us in those days. We had no choice. Most men of my age in Wales can tell the same story. Getting coal was a thing. It was our wealth, and in a way, our destiny. I remember on my 12th birthday, standing there, waiting for the spake to take me down, and listening to the rope on the rollers. I can hear the sound of it now. I felt like a man. I was proud and a bit scared. It was a strange feeling going down for the first time, leaving the daylight behind. We had to go two miles into the mountain, to the coal face. And when we got there, it was very different from the schoolroom I'd left the day before. But one of my brothers was already quite an old hand, and he showed me what to do. They paid us seven shillings a week. We were a family of ten, and the money meant a lot to us, I can tell you. This was a real man's work, and I tried not to think of the sharp edges of the coal and the ten hours of the shift. As the youngsters, we learnt more than just how to get coal. The older men were our teachers. They were great readers and always carried books in their pockets. I think if there'd been more opportunities, they might have been school teachers, or engineers, perhaps, or writers themselves. Many of them had the brains. But for us, the colliery was the only place. It meant wages and security, and it was on our doorstep. And I wanted to grow up to be like those men. I wanted to be strong, as they were to be able to laugh deep in my throat the way they did. And I wanted to hate the firemen the way they did. Come on, you men, let's have another strong drop here. Get out of the way, man. What do you think of building the new Jerusalem? And so the years passed until we grew up. It was a hard life, but I knew no other and we live for the end of the shift. 